okay, situations can arise uh, in a pregnancy where a woman's health um, is seriously compromised, either because of directly because of um, the pregnancy, that would be a situation, for example, like preeclampsia, high blood pressure, or because of other illness that the woman has, like cancer or heart disease or something like that. And what has always been um, understood here, what has always been the situation, what has always been the ethical um, position, is that a woman is entitled to all treatment that is necessary for her, all medical treatment. She's entitled to it, she should be given to it, irrespective of the consequences of that treatment for the baby. Now, what's important in understanding that is abortion is not a treatment of anything. Abortion is something that's done in order to ensure the baby does not survive. Uh, in this case, what you're talking about are treatments like drug treatments or um, surgery, for example, or it might be a treatment which actually requires an early delivery. That would be typically the type of thing that would happen with preeclampsia, where in spite of your best efforts to control the blood pressure, um, it's not working. This woman sort of, you, you know, you'd seriously have to deal with this. And the, the, the issue here is usually the placenta, sort of the root of, of the problem in preeclampsia. So what you actually may find yourself having to do is to do an early delivery. And very rarely this happens at a stage where the baby may not yet be viable. And even in those situations, it's very clear that you do, you have to give the woman the treatment that she needs you do that early delivery, you will do anything you can to save the baby. If it's at all possible to save the baby's life, you will you'll sort of give it every, every opportunity. And if you succeed in saving that baby's life, everybody's delighted. That is just a wonderful outcome. And that's so different to abortion. If you think of it, in the case of abortion, the survival of the baby would actually be a failure of what you're trying to do rather than a success. So there's a very clear difference there between necessary medical treatment, which may have negative consequences for the baby, but you do the best you can for the baby in those situations. And that's very different to an abortion where actually what you want to achieve is that the baby does not survive.